And welcome back to another lock-related video. Not too long ago, I went to my local restore and I came across this older style master padlock. It's extremely heavy and it has that round thick shackle. The newer ones are either hexagonal or octagonal. I noticed that this key here is a six pin. Usually there are five. I also noticed that there was an extra steel pin right over here, which I'll zoom in in a minute to show you. And upon trying it, it operated just like a regular lock, and it locks in, but it does something else which no other padlock does that I've seen. It could be fully released, and the steel ball inside, on both sides, it does not fall out. So somebody modified this to make it that the shackle can be completely pulled out, inserted through something, and then into the lock where it could be secured. And if I go like this, you can see the steel balls move in and out. To put it back in, oh, you can also see that they flatten one side here and a little bit here, and that's the area where you would actually rotate it to remove it. So to put it in, just line it up, turn the key, and it goes right back in. You can go like this, rotate it to the position and hang it like normal, or rotate it back. And release. It's extremely cool. Let me give you a close-up look on what they did with that ball. Now right over here you can see there's a pin that was inserted into the body of the lock and then everything was ground down nice and smooth. The purpose of that pin when they inserted it at the factory was to keep this ball right over here from falling out completely. What it does it sticks out just enough to keep the ball from falling out. So what the person did is they added another one on this side right over here. And you can see that ball sticking out. And right over here on the opposite side you see this hole. It's actually a tension pin inside there. So it was pounded in place. And it makes no difference if somebody even tried to pull that out because with the shackle in place it's not going to have any effect on anyone trying to get into this lock any easier. As usual, the best way to get into these locks is through the key opening or the keyway. Newer master lock magnums have a plastic cover that goes over this or a rubber cover. And what happens when they installed it to cover this opening, this steel pin does not go all the way down flush. This one goes down very close, so you really can't get under it with a screwdriver to try prying it and hitting it. But the newer master lock magnums, you can very easily get under that rivet and pound on it and break it and then once this plate falls off you can pull out the entire lock core. Let me open this up. Very simple. Just go to this side and way down in here a hex socket screw. I'm going to insert a hex key and unscrew it and then remove this plate and we're going to take a look at the lock core. Right here is the screw that was removed and right here This is the piece that came off. Okay, let's take a closer look now. You can see the six chambers. All right, so to open this, on this end, there's a flat spot right over here. So what I need to do is rotate that to the flat spot. And then insert a follower, turn it upright, okay, let's take a look at each one of these pins, see what they used. Here's all six lower pins lined up and you can see to increase pick resistance there's a groove at the top of this pin the second pin as well as the last pin. Okay, let's take a look at the top pins. Okay, so the first one is a spool. Second one is a serrated pin. Another spool. And 
another serrated pin. Oh, we got another serrated pin. And what is the last one? And there it is. Another spool. So there is plenty of pick resistance in those top pins. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.